Miranda, won't you have a cup of tea and visit for a while? I'd love to, but I have to prepare these herbs. Maybe a rain check? You're always welcome. You can stop by any time. I've got all the latest gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, I'm back. Is supper ready? He's over there again. Hey, hey, hey! What, what are you 
think you're doing? Are you crazy? What? Get out of the way! And there we have it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey! What's the big idea? You can't chop up the wings! She's lighter now, isn't she? Huh? Now she'll fly farther, by a mile. Just a minute! You think I just threw this together? It took a lot of planning. Listen, everything from the angle of the propeller to the weight of the body is precisely calculated to do exactly. She'll fly. What? Look, you gotta have a little faith in me. I know what I'm doing. I know her as well as you do, inside and out. And I could tell during the last test flight that we could make her lighter. Yeah, but... Really think this is gonna work? Why wouldn't it? As far as I know, there's only been one. One person who's ever successfully flown across the sea. <sighs> and that would be Sky Captain Schmidt. But we've tried so hard. I just know we're gonna be the next ones to make it. Way there. This flight unit is all we need. Yeah. Yuki! <laughs> I know you're in there! Oh, it's Miranda! I told Dibs on the plane! Hey, no fair! You. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to kill me or something? Instead of fixing dinner, you're out here monkeying with your machines. Honestly, Yuki, when are you going to give up this nonsense and... and train to be a potter? I know, I know. I'll start tomorrow, I promise. Right, Rots? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, sure. Tomorrow. Hmm. You seem suspiciously reasonable today. You're not up to something, are you? In that case, I suppose you won't mind if I hang on to this, then? Hey! You can't... Hmm. Is there something wrong? Uh, no. Come on, would I disobey my own mother? Of course not. Huh. All right, then. See you later. <laughs> Great, now what? Well, Yuki? <laughs> You just leave Miranda to me, okay? I happen to know about her secret hiding place in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's get ready. We're taking off tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> that is a long, bloody opening. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to this Let's Play, um, I'm probably gonna end up the opening bit that I just did, because, well, yeah. But, 
I love this game. This game's so much fun. It's one of the few games I remember when I was uh, growing up that actually had a dedicated flying system beyond what was like Final Fantasy 7 and 8, where you just get the plane, go up, go, go to where you need to go, then land. This thing actually has kind of purpose to it, and I love it. I love flying in games. It's so much fun. Uh, let's see here. It also has a fairly unique uh, battle system from my memory. As well as a unique uh, magic system. But I don't remember exactly how it plays because I've only beaten this game once. And that was a long bloody time ago. Alright. Hello? Fans of number 19, Rots and I poured our sweat and tears into these planes. Okay. 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 Oof. This is definitely PS2 era. <laughs> Chung used everything again. Okay. I'll try to explain things as I get to them. But it might take some time, because again, beat this game once. But I've been wanting to do this let's play for years since I did the uh, Dragon Quest VIII let's play. Which was one of the first let's plays I ever did. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this let's play. I really am. Hope you guys are, too. Um, from what I saw, like, bear in mind I did a cursory look at this. There aren't very many let's plays that this came up. It's one of those uh, hidden gems, as far as I know. So, I'm looking forward to doing it. Especially with uh, modern, my modern recording setup. Let's go. Oop. For the longest time, though, when I played this game as a kid, I thought Miranda was uh, Yuki's sister. She's kind of young, you know. Such a pretty little town. This is Anfang City, or Anfang Village. There are a few things we can grab. I'm trying to find. We gotta find our house. Is this it? Is that break? Nope, that's not our place. Hello. Pretty. Magic shop? Uh, don't have a lot of money, so we'll save it for now. Is that place? Where's the house? There we are. Alright, so these are our save points, which gives us recovery, which is great, and of course, save. So let's do our obligatory save. There we go. Give me a second. Alright then. Now there should be something we can grab. Herbs. Kills wounds. Yoink. Healing herb! Awesome. Alright, so the flight unit's in the kitchen. That's the bathroom. That's Miranda's room. Good shelf. Oh, there it is. Flight unit required! I knew it! Oh, Miranda. You're so predictable. Okay. Now I just have to give this to Rots. And then I can fly! I also really like uh, Yuki's design. Uh, not a lot of characters had this appearance. Well, a lot of characters had this sort of edgy, grunge-like appearance. Alright. Let's give it to Rots. Good music, too. Good music. This is also the only PS2-era game that I can think of off the top of my head that was so massive it required two discs. So, yeah. On PS, PS1 era, that wasn't uncommon. You know, two, three, even four discs. That wasn't uncommon. Um, but this game, on the, on the PS2, there weren't very many games that ha that needed two discs to play. So, I'm impressed with that. Um, as a side note, real quickly. This is currently available on the PlayStation Network for about 
I think 10 bucks, maybe 5 bucks uh, as well, maybe 5 bucks. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it was fairly cheap, and it's a game I recommend. Alright, Rots, got the flight unit. It's also a shame there's no subtitles during uh, anime cutscenes. I've got it, Rots, look. Alright, good job. But Miranda doesn't know you took it, right? Come on, she's clueless. It was a piece of cake. So, are y'all set? Ready for takeoff? A time! Alright then. You take off at uh, dusk. We take, you take off at dusk. Alright. Oh, so beautiful, too. This game is heavy story. Keep that in mind. Listen, you've never flown at night. You gotta be careful during takeoff. <laughs> Rots, would you relax already? The plane's gonna be just fine. Do I have to spell it out for you? It's not the plane I'm worried about, it's you! Huh? Rots, knock it off! <laughs> okay. soon myself. Yuki, no matter what happens, you've got to make it to the mainland. Meet me there, promise? Sure. <laughs> Just remember, Yuki, our dream can even fly all the way across the ocean. And you'll be the one to prove it, okay? Good luck! Thanks. Uh, here we go! We're off! Time to take her up. Huh? Funny. I'm not gaining any altitude. I don't get it. I lightened her up enough. So why? Why don't you try moving the stick again? I am, but it doesn't work. Oh, for goodness sake. 
Let me do it. Will you be quiet? I need to concentrate. Wh Miranda, what are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> you should know by now. You can't hide anything from me, Yuki. Uh, it's no wonder she won't fly. We're overweight. Don't go blaming others for your troubles. Hey, watch where you're going! There you go. What would you do without me? How about showing a little gratitude? Excuse me, I'm a little busy here! Come on, can't you do anything about this? Huh? Hey, Yuki, look at that! I told you, I'm a little busy right now! And they died. Game over. That's the entire game. Hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. A lot of fun. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm also upset I couldn't. I can't put in that uh, song when they're flying. It's such a beautiful song. It sets the scene, but it's definitely copyright. Master Cornell, we can't find the communicator anywhere. One girl alone in the forest isn't gonna get far. Not on foot. Search the area and find that communicator! Yes, yes sir. sir! I will find you. The glory will be mine. No, I have to at least say this. There goes our dream, up in flames. Well, I had no idea that airplanes were so flimsy. You had one extra passenger and boom. And just whose fault was that, huh? Well, it all worked out okay. I mean, at least we're safe. Now hold on. Got him! <laughs> so you're the meddlers who got in our way, huh? But I've never heard of a communicator's bodyguards attacking from the sky before. Communicator's bodyguards? <laughs> you think you're pretty smart, huh? Hmm. I've never seen you two before. We're gonna get that communicator, no matter what it takes! Be on your guard, Yuki. Right. All right, time for the battle tutorial. Okay. It's all pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Okay. Brian's gonna give us the, uh, tutorial, so... Let's go, uh, feet wet. I guess kids today will call this a tutorial. This is the IP gauge. It lets you uh, know whose turn it is next to fight. Fair warning, I will switch between the word gauge and gauge a lot. I have no clue why I do this. I apologize if it's not how you pronounce it. I've been told it's pronou uh, I'm pronouncing it wrong multiple times in the past. So I'm just saying this right now. I'm sorry. Uh, when a character's symbol gets to the CLM area, you can give them a command. Alright, when the command symbol gets to the CLM area, the command wheel will appear. Yep, that's it. Just select the command for the character, and then confirm your selection. I suppose you start with a basic, uh, ba start with the basics, a combo. Go ahead and select it. 
Next, choose your target. The unfortunate victim will be you, Soldier A. I now have Soldier A stuck in my head. Thank you, Vic. Alright. Once the game actually gets going, we'll see a lot more, uh... It's gonna be a lot more hectic. Now something stronger. How about trying for a critical? Uh, select as you did before. This time, maybe we'll go with Soldier... Nah, let's go with Soldier A again. On some hero. Combo hit will... Uh, a combo attack will hit the enemy several times, but each hit will be weak. With a critical, you hit the enemy as hard as possible to stop them in their tracks. So basically, uh, if we hit a critical, it will, uh, I believe, knock them back on the IP gauge. Which one's better will depend on the situation, so choose carefully. So it will allow you to be able to uh, attack multiple times with a quick enough. Alright, let's see what you've learned. Choose either combo or critical hit. He's about to go again. Let's do go for a crit. Ah, oh, he got me. Yep, it knocks knocks back the uh, IP, him on the IP gauge, which means we can attack again. And that's something harder. It's like magic. You need to use MP to cast magic spells, but they can be uh, very useful. At the moment, this is the only spell you can use. Let's see what they think of, of a little bird. I love the name of these spells, too. They're so weird. They're like, um, Dragon Quest VIII spells, you know, like, um... Uh, whoosh, and stuff like that. That's just straight up what it, does, what it says. But, here we have the information. It's an attack type, so we know it's going to do damage. Uh, we know the range is single, so we'll attack a single enemy. Um, as well as if you are things I, I didn't read it. Alright. Um, the target will always be an enemy. Gets basic description, sends a fireball at the enemy, fire base, does fire base damage, and it's two, uh, two star attacks, so it's going to do fairly good damage. But it takes a while to cast. Love it! Hits hard though! Ow. And finally, special moves. It's like special move as you did from the other commands. Supposed to use SP, but they're so powerful that you won't worry about that. At the moment, this is the only one move you can use. Don't worry. Uh, there'll be plenty. Go on, give them a taste of your aerial slash. Uh, it's attack, single enemy, hack into the enemy from above, not elemental, and cancels an enemy's attack. So, if they're in the red gauge, or area on the AP gauge, and they're running to attack you, and this hits them, it will cancel them out of the attack. Which is just... So freaking helpful if you see an enemy pairing a spell. You use something like this, it'll just go, boop, nope, can't do it, sorry. Um, now, I don't remember how to gain new special moves. I think you have to do um, a certain number of prerequisites, like um, attack a certain number of times, use this spell a certain number of times, stuff like that. So these basically are limit breaks that we can use so long as we have the SP form, which... Uh, goes up as you attack. So, let's go. Here I go. Nice. Unfortunately, you do have uh, quite a bit of a cool time, cooldown time. Alright, you select his attack. He's done pass, now. Finish off Soldier A there. Alright, so he has an attack ready to go. Normal attack. Let's cancel it and kill him. Boop. Cancel. What's great about that attack, though, is... I've done this multiple times playing this game. Um, if you're able to time it just right, you literally have an enemy standing right in front of you, just about to hit you. Use your special, and it will knock them out of it. It's so mean to do, and I love doing it. Alright, we did it! Stance. Alright. So, we get a good amount of XP, which increases our HP attack, magic, magic defense, regular defense, and resistances, which is great. Uh, no money though. Skill level 2, great. I'll look up how to get other abilities later on.
looks like we've got ourselves in some trouble. I don't, I don't know what they're we're talking about, though. There was a, a girl in the carriage, with beautiful golden hair, and, golden hair and long ears. Man, Yuki, I understand you. Those long ears. Mm. My, how observant of you. With the crash and all, she does bring up a good point. You're about to crash, and you're able to pick out the facial features of a girl. Uh, he is a teen. He is getting eaten now. He is at that time. So, what do we do now? Hmm. Maybe we better head back to the village. Seems dangerous here. <laughs> Don't give me that. You're not really thinking of going back, are you? Okay, you caught me. We have to find that girl. All right then. You're the boss. All right then. There are a few things we want to grab right quick. Good skills. We have no skills, good magic, burn, special moves. Miranda. She has Lizard Hunter, which increases damage to lizard based enemies, which is great, but it's not powerful. Tremor, awesome, Earth. And it's an all attack, which is beautiful. Which moves, Dagger Dash, I think she see the Dagger Strikes, non elemental, cancel enemy attack. As you can see, not all um, abilities will uh, cancel out. Uh, but this one is a fan type, which means it will do a uh, arc in front of us. Well, not an arc, but uh, a fan-based attack in front of us. Which means we can hit multiple people with that. Okay. There was something we want to grab here. Alright. There is a treasure chest we want to grab. But I don't think it's this area. Enemies. It's recommended to always fight every enemy. We're surrounded. Crap. Right, special move. As you can see, the fan based attack. Get ready. Ah, uh, he got the, he got the, he got the hit off attack. before I got a chance there. Jeez. Stings a little, doesn't it? Alright, enough for that. Crit. All right. Oh, I missed. Crap. That's an downside to attacks. You can't miss if you if you don't actually hit them. So attack me. So I'll defend. I'll do a dagger dash. Get ready. See, it's my favorite part right here. I can cancel the attack. Just he's about to hit Yuki. Boop. And kill. Stings a little, doesn't it? Why not make things easier for everyone and stay out of our way? Miranda's one of my favorite characters. She's awesome. All right. The flash, by the way, represents uh, invulnerability frames. We can't be damaged. All right, let's test out. Okay, so it's not Tremor. See what it looks like. What's also cool is if you choose defense, you can choose the location on the map on the field map to go to. Ooh. Nice. Why not make things easier for everyone and stay out of I'll demonstrate that again uh, next time. Thanks for magic level increased, which means I do uh, more magic damage, I believe. All right. Keep an eye out for chests. There it is. Tell me, just stand for press X. Thank you. I do believe there are mimics in this game, so we have to be careful. Move close to the item that appears inside the chest. Pick it up. So we actually get the item to appear, and we have to pick it up. Uh, then you're gonna be at your inventory. If you already have nine of an item, you won't be able to pick up any more. Strong open stats. Check out your inventory. All right. Equipment. Give it to Miranda. Skill book. Uh, skills can be equipped at light spheres or at shops with set command. Alright, so this will give her even more damage to uh, lizard enemies. Right? Yeah, increases lizard hunter attack. Okay. And we have a save point right up here. Over there.
And just before people ask, I do believe Yuki is voiced by Johnny, Johnny Young Bosch. Yeah. That was going to be a time I could talk. Yuki, where would you go if you were her? If I were her... And horses, so... The woods were her only chance. Good deductive reasoning. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Yes, sir! Ah, mum knows! It's you! That's enough, Alfina. Ominous! So what's this Riku want to be want with uh, this, this little girl, Alfina? But I think I might call it here for today. This is sort of going to be a set to test the waters, see if, uh, if you guys are interested in or not. Let me check something real quickly. There's one more thing I want to grab real quickly, just so I can show it off. Alright, over... Oop, worked at the camera properly. This way... I think it is. There's an item uh, that's uh, on the ground, I think. Oh, there it is! A flare egg! Okay. These are mana eggs. Mana eggs increase the power and effects of magic by boosting one or more of four magic elements. A large boost, boost will greatly increase the power and effects of magic when used. Magic can be equipped at light spheres or at shops with the set of command. So, flare egg will give us the ability burn if you don't already have it learned. It will also boost our fire-based abilities. Since Yuki already has burn, we're giving it to him. But that's going to be it for this set. Um, like I said, this is sort of going to be a test of water to see if you guys are interested in Let's Play or not. Um, I will be recording another set soon, just to be prepared. And uh, I think off-screen I may do a little level grinding. Just a little bit, because not much I can do here. I think um, I have to leave area and come back in for... Um, monsters to respawn so that's it hope you guys are looking forward to this let's play i know i am and i'll see you guys next week till then have a great day bye bye